guess it just does it say record? I think we'll it's a, I think time. it's on. It looks like it. Look at there. Oh, that looks like a little red dot. That looks like we're recording. We so while not. you're working, by the way, you got to pay attention to your camera. Oh my gosh, this is really. Okay. All right. We need an intro here. Of course we do. Live from Red Bank, New Jersey. <laughs> Chelsea Yards is proud to present the Chelsea Pearls. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Miriam. But and this I'm isn't Christina. Christina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Meredith. Hi Meredith. Hi, Meredith. And welcome. Hi. Meredith is here with us today because Christina's jet setting. She was out in California for Stitches West. It's hard. It it's is. A lot of work. Mm, it's not easy being Christina. I discovered that actually the hard way this week because working here has always been my fantasy job. So Thursday night. I had the chance to work. It is downright scary, I gotta tell ya. Oh my gosh. Especially when Christina's not here. Yes. Was anyone else here or were you the only person? Leslie was here. Okay. Leslie was not supposed to be here but she stuck around very graciously mm -hmm. to watch me uh, stumble. I answered the phone which seemed to be safe enough and it was a customer calling from Oklahoma who wanted to order some things that she had seen in the previous podcast. Started out great. Mini skeins, check done. Jewel clip, check done. Straightforward. She wanted to make the Abby cowl, and she wanted me to pick colors for her. Oh. Clearly, this woman does not know that everyone picks colors for me. I didn't pick these colors. Abby picked them for me. Oh. Cheryl picks for me. Christina picks for me. Mm -hmm. So then I had to do the deer in the headlights, it takes a village. I had Leslie scrambling, I had Andrea scrambling, I was taking pictures of things and texting them to Christina. <laughs> and God bless my new friend in Oklahoma, Teresa. Hi Teresa, how are you? She was so kind and so patient. She stayed on the phone. <gasps> she was through, on the phone the whole time? Yes, oh, yes. That's extra pressure. Through all my shenanigans. Oh, man. And she was so kind and patient about everything. I really appreciated that. So there are several combinations for Christina to choose one when she comes back because oh, I couldn't handle the That's pressure. A lot. That's it was, a lot. It was a scary thing. But thank you, Teresa, for your patience. It was wonderful talking with you. And I really hope the ice is melted and you're able to get out. They had an ice storm. She'd been cooped up for three days. Can you imagine? She needs yarn. She needed yarn. She did. Like, fast. Yes. Wow. So, I'm sorry, Meredith. I jumped all over your um, introduction. Can I tell everyone who you are? <laughs> <laughs> According to what? With <laughs> knitting world? In the knitting world. Um, well, mm. I, you know, you know the movie Grease? <laughs> and, you <Yeah>. know, <laughs> I'm a Grease obsessed. There's a point where the principal says over the loudspeaker, she wants everyone to come to the pep rally. <laughs> she says, if you can't be an athlete, be an athletic supporter. <laughs> so I feel like I am the athletic supporter. <laughs> the athletic supporter of, of the knitting. Of knitting. Of yeah, knitting. I, of, the, of the knitting. You know, I'm a knitter. I love to knit. I'm not the best knitter. But I love it, and I love being around, and I love cheering people on, and I love touching, and I love learning. So that's kind of where I feel like I'm at. And so, now I'm working here, which is super cool because I get to learn even more. But yes, I feel like the stress. stress. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little obsessed with that movie. A little obsessed with movie musicals in general. That was my 11th birthday. Um, party was Greece. Was it Greece? Mm -hmm. My parents projected it on the dining room wall. Nice. Mm -hmm. and my best friend and I did side ponytails, but mine had to be on one side and hers had to be on the oh other side. God. So when we stood next to each other, we had ponytails. Were you like Olivia Newton John? In her, in I was not. I wanted to be this little Italian dark haired girl, but yeah, obsessed. Oh, okay. Anyway. Is that enough of an introduction? <laughs> That's probably enough of an introduction. Yeah, I think that... Grace, athletic supporter. It's good. It's all good. It's kind of dirty. But we move on. Okay, we're moving on. So, let's see. I think this is... I'm going to call this episode 23B. Okay. I think this is our... While the cat's away, 
episode, when Christina handed me the keys, I was sort of like, oh, oh I could come back and sleep here if I really wanted to. Yes. I've got the keys. I can come play with the cashmere anytime I want. I've got the keys. <gasps> it was the so cashmere. exciting. I know. I love the cashmere. And we've got something new, too. Speaking of cashmere, this is, this is Backyard Fiberworks. I don't know. Can you see it? Are we blown out? It's an MCN. It's fingering weight, and it is luscious. The colors are gorgeous. Look are at they this. beautiful? Yeah. All this variegation in this, and the brown, and the purple. It's gorgeous. Uh, it's not. I don't think we're close enough. It's going to be blurry. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. But... And this is these fingering are, weight. This these is are fingering. all fingering weight. Yes. New shipment just in. There's a ton of colors, too. I know. It's beautiful. I know. I've already gotten mine and hidden mine in the back. You'll notice my colors are not here on the table. Oh, you still just in case shiny. I change my mind. Yeah. Don't want anyone taking my, my color scheme that nice. I picked out all by myself without any help. Three colors, because that's my limit. I can only do three. Excellent. Well, if but you like, know you if know like your... pink black and gray I am your girl to choose colors there you go but it's nice to know where your comfort zone is and then you can play around in there and then you get Cheryl or Christina or someone else to help you pick your colors yes like Christina's fade Christina's fade I know How much she's not like? here and I'm I think obsessed you should wear it with all day. Christina's I think I might to. You're gonna have to do a lot of serious wrapping because mm -hmm. the fade is actually bigger than you are. Oh god, but it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's all Chelsea Lux. I know, so and gorgeous. it's gorgeous. Yeah, the colors are stunning. Yes. I covet. I covet it. So, uh, what else? Mm, let me see. Uh, I've got a finished object. Well, <gasps> An unfinished finished object because you can see there are things hanging but this is my Abby cow that I made from a recipe from a customer the basic cast on 120 stitches with a size 9 needle fingering and mohair it's held together and knit one pearl one ribbing I think I went for like 16 inches. I'm very pleased with the way that it turned out. But a couple wonky stitches hardly helped me knit. And yeah. I had to wrestle it out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. So it happens. Yeah. This is this is really pretty. And these are great colors for you. Now, Thank you. Who picked Abby picked them? She did. She did. She was like, oh, no, these. I was like, okay, I'll knit those then. So uh, the mohair is uh, Shibui Silk Cloud. I want to say, I don't know, coral, salmon, mm -hmm. and then the other is a uh, crate, color crave, uh -huh. and I want to say it was waiting for autumn. She's got great names for her She colors. does have great names for her colors, and she's going to have a special yarn for the anniversary sale I next know. weekend. That's exciting. I can't wait. That's I can't exciting. Wait. But this color looks really nice on you. Thank you. Even the, this pink that you were wearing today before you put your cowl on, that looks really nice on you, too. Thank you. Goes with your lip gloss. Oh, my lip gloss. Is Are you popping. clear of, of <laughs> stickiness? You're good. I'm. I'm hoping the hair on the most stays down because sometimes it fuzzes and up. It gets. You. Yes. Last night when I was finishing off, I got a little piece of mohair. Throughout. That was when it we was were terrible. leaving last night. Yeah, you were kind of like yeah. you had like a hairball. That was terrible. You were trying to get it up. I know. <laughs> but I do love mohair, and I had so much fun yesterday. Speaking of mohair, I went to the farm <gasps> to oh. see the Angora goats which produce mohair. Go figure. I don't understand how Angora goats produce mohair. You would think they would make Angora. Yes. But that comes from rabbits, I guess. Oh, but right. But in mm -hmm. any case, I went out to Sarah, purple alpaca green goats. You have to follow her on Instagram. She's I do. got goats and she has chickens and she's got dogs. And she has the most adorable family mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. And my daughter and I went out and spent the day. And we watched the shearing. We took some pictures. It was just really a lot of fun. But shots of my daughter holding this hen. Oh, that's oh, I didn't hysterical. see those pictures. I haven't posted them all. Maybe Christina can tuck some in. It was a lot of fun. And it's amazing, too, because here we are in Red Bank. 
And she's right over in Middletown. Yeah. So they have, I mean, it's what, 10, 15 minutes from here? Not even. Not even. And they have this, they've created this whole farm. Yes. It amazes me when people do that. I'm, I'm so intrigued and it's so inspiring when people, especially when it comes to like farm animals and, and they build stuff. I follow them on Instagram. Yes. We watch them feed the chickens in the morning, you know, always. And uh, train the dogs to keep the... Coyotes she, away, keep, keep the, the goats goats together. Away, keep yes. the goats together, and I find it fascinating. So yes, we love my son and I always check in on purple alpaca, green goat, and she spins. She does spin. She spins and she knits on a loom. Yes. Which we're gonna have to learn how to do that. We're yeah. To are you are you actually doing <clears throat> that with your hands on the loom, like wrapping it? That I, I don't think know. so. I think it's pegs, mm -hmm. and you're moving it across the pegs, maybe. Mm -hmm. So I think you can go as far as you have pegs. I don't understand how she does hats, though. Maybe she has a circular loom for doing know. hats. I've seen the, the scarves that she does, and she gets different stitch patterns. Yes. And it's really, it's beautiful. I would, I would almost assume that everything's going to wind up looking the same because she's just working on a loom. No, but, but it always comes out. They're really, really pretty stuff. So Yeah, so that was a lot of fun. We enjoyed that mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. And let me see. Want to talk about works in progress? Whips. Have a work in progress? Yes, I'm professional, and I'm going to talk about my whips. So who was the lady that came here? Was her name Eileen that we just loved, and she was carrying around the hipster pattern? I'm trying to think of the other things she had. I think Across so. the room, she was carrying this pattern for the hipster, which is a new pattern by Hohi Locatelli. Um, and just from like, she was just looking at yarn and carrying this and I saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to make it. So I cast on yesterday, choosing the color. It was a thing. It takes a village. It, and knit, it's supposed to be like this lovely relaxing and choosing a color, man, gets me every time. But once you have your color and you can start knitting, then it's true. It's true. I went way opposite of what I thought. I thought I was going to go camel brown, yes. and then I went blue. That is gorgeous. What yarn is that? This is Woolfolk Tove DK. I'll knit with Woolfolk any time. Both of my works in progress right now are Woolfolk yarn, and I'm obsessed, and it's gorgeous, and I made a sweater from the Woolfolk far okay. a while ago, and that is beautiful. And yes, this is the beginning of my hipster. It's Ooh. tiny. It's a little tiny hipster. Um, and the way it started, I'd never seen before. You cast on three stitches and do some rows, and then you pick up a along the side. A gar I yeah, it just looks like it's going. Okay, let's give it another try. Do I need like a... A book to sit on to look like I'm sitting in a hole. <laughs> I, feel like... I guess you keep your eye on that thing, huh? Okay, we'll keep watch. All right, so... Do, and we don't even know what... We, we have no idea. Hi, we're back. <laughs> Apparently, we experienced some technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. The camera shut down on us, and we're not quite sure where. So we're just going to try and pick up where we left off and see how that works out. So we were looking for a formula for color and fit so that we would always look our best at all times. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking we just need people for this. That's what I'm saying. We need this, we need a consultation, you know, we need to get our colors done and have our Pantone card and then we'll no questions. Good. Choosing yarn. Choosing yarn for ourselves. Once again, I'll still be stumped when somebody else comes in unless they fit my color scheme. Yes, but then the pressure is off. Then it, to me, when I'm helping someone else, it's fun and I can be really adventuresome and creative. Because, when it comes to me, I'm okay. like a deer in the headlights with my own okay. setup. See, I always worry that they're not going to like it. I take things personally. Oh, right. So, you know, if I pick colors for someone and I convince them to buy this and then they hate it, they're not going to like me, mm -hmm. it's going to be awful. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of stress. Yeah, it's a lot of stress. You. I hear you. And here there are so many things to choose from. She's got so many beautiful yarns mm -hmm. in so many colors. Mm -hmm. Speckles, tonals, variegated. It's just yeah. overwhelming sometimes trying to choose. Incredible. But it's fun. 
it is a lot of fun. It's fun to have so many choices available. Mm -hmm. I was watching Hohi Locatelli. She's been podcasting. Mm -hmm. She does her journal. I don't know if you've been watching. I popped on when I saw she featured the hipster. I wanted to see what she said. Three or four. And she was talking about the fact that she can only get yarn in the mail twice a year. No. Yes. Really? Yes. Can you imagine? That's intense. I don't know what the yarn shops are like there. I know that she does a lot of traveling, and I'm sure she must be getting yarn on her travels. But can you imagine, like, I look forward to the happy mail when the yarn comes. Mm -hmm. um, and she's designing and... Yes, that's her livelihood, really. That's even more inspirational then to me, that she's creating almost from nothing. Yes. Because she's not, you know, she doesn't even have stuff to play with to see how it's doing as she's... Creating. It seems as though she has developed a relationship with certain dyers and they will dye things and I think she perhaps leaves the country often enough and has friends that will hold on to yarn for her until she can get there or maybe mm -hmm. they come to visit mm -hmm. and bring yarn but I mean that's something you would never think of. We take for granted that everybody can just open the door walk in and have so many choices. Wow. We're spoiled. We are. We're very fortunate. We are. And look at your toes. I know. I continue. They're growing. They are growing. We're getting there slowly but surely. I had put them to the side to finish my cowl. Yeah, that's why you are. They ha it has little flecks of color in there, too. It does. If you look, look at this bag. How cute. Adorable. This, bag? this is ridiculous, right? And it's, and it's separated in the middle. Yes, so this is my... Uh, I ordered it from Studio in the Green on Etsy, and it's perfect because I've got a side and a side, and I've got the little snaps so my yarn doesn't tangle. I can put little notions in the middle. This is adorable. And yeah, so, and my yarn is not tangled so far. So yeah, I do have flex of color. It's Alex Creates. It's one of his ombre sock duos. Mm -hmm. So the dark was on the outside, so I'm going from dark to light. So we'll eventually hit pops of purple and green with the off-white grayish background. I'm excited to get there. I do this to myself every time. It's so hard getting started with mm -hmm. the dark yarn and seeing the stitches. And I was thinking, oh, oh mm -hmm. why didn't I start? I was finding that way. with this last night when I was playing around a little bit too. When it's darker, it's harder to see. It yeah. is harder to see. But this is great. These remind me of um, when you when you dance on point shoes. They have things that look just like this. Did Miranda? Okay. No. She wasn't into the ballet part. That was not her no, thing. But anyway, they have than... these filled with like lamb's wool, and you put them over your toes, and then you put, put them, them in, in the shoe. Shoes. And okay. they, that's what it reminds me of. So if you don't finish, you can give them to a dancer. <laughs> Perfect. I'll take them to dance class. <laughs> exactly. Someone will need donate them. them. That's great. I love it. I was trying very hard to get my five hats done by today. Oh. Didn't happen. Here's hat number four. That's okay. Sad it's trumpet. all good. It's all good because I finished the cow. Oh, here it is. Mm -hmm. I, can mm -hmm. I can find it. And I worked a little bit on the socks. And it's all good. Last year I made a lot of hats. All right. So, And the ones you made this year were beautiful. Yeah. No, I'm pleased with what I made this year. You did year. the cashmere. I did the cashmere. Mm -hmm. I did the cashmere. I did a Chelsea mixer. And I did a pull the wool over. Oh, I did, yeah, I did the pull the wool over. So those were my three. Mm -hmm. So what do you have? What else do you have on the needles? What else do I have? Mm -hmm. I have, uh, Christina did this also, and there's a shop sample, and when I saw it, I had to make it. The Cooler Side of Warm by Melissa Cludlow. And I chose to do it. This is another wool folk. More wool folk. All the wool folk. Oh, that's gorgeous. And it's more of like a pinkish brown, okay, which I adore. And this yarn, so funny. You know what I have? Insane. No, wait, wrong it's guy. like the next best thing to cashmere. Although some people love it even more. Let's see. Christina has so much of this yarn, and it's interesting too because this has such a beautiful feel, and it doesn't have the same loft. I mean, this is a chain, but oh my gosh. Oh. You. Are you going to do it? Yes. <gasps> I've had the yarn for it. I haven't started. Nice. Now that the cowl is done and I'm no longer under pressure to make hats, 
Maybe I'll cast this on today. Oh, this is a nice one. Perfect day for it. It's pouring. Yes. Oh my like, gosh. Disgusting, pouring, awful, rainy, gray, oh, yuck, cloudy, all that stuff. And do we go into my, to my, uh, we could talk about it. You want to talk about it? Sure. Or is it too much to talk about? It's not too much to talk about. I, um, I broke a rule. I broke a knitting rule. I love my Tegna. And you know what? If I have to re-knit, I will re-knit. This is with Madeline Tosh in the Cove colorway, but I didn't alternate skeins. Yes, and yeah. therefore, I'm getting pooling. You know what? It's, I think it's more pronounced maybe right there. In the back, right there. Yeah. I'll turn it around. Yeah. So I'm thinking I need to rip. Wah. I, I think, no. I, this is, I cannot decide. If it bothers you, that's the rip thing. It. If it doesn't really bother you, I then I leave don't, it alone. I love it so much, but I feel like it's it's looking like a fade, and it's not what I intend. You know, it's yeah. not what I wanted it to be. And I wouldn't have to re knit the lace, although I adore. I really had fun knitting this pattern after I got started for the seventeenth time. But I think everyone <laughs> with this pattern talks about starting and restarting. But I'd only really rip it to maybe here, and that's just all knit, 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 knit in the round. Although look at all those shoulders separating. Yeah, started shaping. I did all the things. Mm. I don't know. That's the, that's the thing. How, you know, how precious do I I once read somewhere this? that you should do about a third before you start alternating. A third of the piece? Maybe a third of the skein. Interesting, really. Only, um, now I, I wish I had better information. Basically because if you start alternating one, two, one, two, one, two, mm -hmm. you're gonna run out of them both at the same time and then you're gonna have to integrate two, two new yarns. Oh, that's So okay. if you did a third and then started alternating, you'd always have something right. going rather than having to start over again. Right, the I don't problem know if that is would be helpful. this is Cove, which mm -hmm. I had a skein there was like one skein left here, and then Christina saved me, found a second skein, because I was obsessed with it, and wanted to do this sweater in it. She pulled it out of her stash, so that's it. There are only two okay. left on earth. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> These are the only knitting drama. <laughs> I know. This is it. I'm knitting with the last two skeins of Madeline Tosh Cove. Uh, so yes, there's not going to be a third to play with, but I think it'll still make sense to, to rip back. Yeah, I think. Ah. I think so. I Isn't think it you'll pretty? be happier. It is. It's beautiful. And there's a lot of work that went into it. You really want it to be. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. And because it'll you be... want to wear it and wear it proudly. And it's a short sleeve, so it'll be great for springtime. And all right, maybe today. Maybe today with uh, with the support and the juju of all the ladies the, here, the knitting community. They'll hold my hand as we frog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Do we have anything else? Can we say happy birthday to Christina? We do have to say happy birthday. We have to say happy birthday happy to Christina! Happy birthday, Christina! <laughs> we love you. Thank yes, you and for we miss you. all you've created and um, letting us sit here and do this podcast. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, I have fuzz in my left. Uh-oh, there it goes. <laughs> it's starting. It's as soon as you mentioned Christina, the, <laughs> the, the hair the uh, hair went into I the don't lip know. gloss. You gotta oh apply lip gloss while you mention it. Oh, you know what's sitting on the table here? Oh, there's two of them. Oh, yeah. Red Bag Mike has been busy. Mm -hmm. Look at this kahuna. This is gorgeous. It's kind of psychedelic. It's Shangri-La. And it's in Chelsea Lux DK. You've got seven colors. 950 yards that's beautiful what fun that is it's pillowy too it i is. mean it's just in the dk man wow and look it's got a brother yeah. Woo wow yes this one's a little bit bigger this is the slightly larger brother at a thousand yards this is also beautiful they're um they're weighty they like are. you know Oh, it's out. something substantial. Yeah, well, those are heavy. They're like five skeins of uh, DK. Is it? it yeah. yeah so and you're shipping it, these. Do they have a? Whole they're already net? going. Yeah, they're done. They're they're, they're spoken. They're for. spoken for. Yeah. Oh, oh but yeah. he'll be making more. Just a tease. <laughs> <laughs>
that. Just a tease. Okay. We have show notes. I feel so professional. We're looking at them like they really don't say anything at all, which is the interesting <laughs> part. Um, I guess the only thing coming up next is the anniversary sale will be coming up next weekend. It'll be five years. There's all sorts of surprises. And... Meredith and I will be surprised too because Christine has been very tight-lipped about this. She is not, not giving word. away anything. Yeah. So I know that there will be trunk shows. Mm -hmm. I know that Color Crave is coming mm -hmm. and Sweet Sparrow mm -hmm. is coming. I think there's going to be a special bag designed by Toad, Toad Hollow. Hollow. Mm -hmm. I think our friend Marion of marionated yarn may have also done a special anniversary oh, colorway. I know. I man. can't wait to see. Wow. So that's taking place this weekend. Yes. And, you know, it's always festive when there's a reason to be festive around here. Yep. Even when there's not a reason to be festive, you can come on a Thursday and there's food and everything. There's, there's always food. A food there's party. people. There's, there's no. always something going on. Yeah. There's always something happening. So when there's a reason to be festive, it's going to be really fun. And yeah. it's sad. There you go. All right. We're back on. We're Tried back it on. again. Yeah. All right. Technical I just difficulties. happened to need to grab this because it was lonely. It's Christina's fade and I want it. I want it to be mine. Look how beautiful Look this at is. this. It's ridiculous. It's so Talk ridiculous. about choosing colors. I know yeah. it took a while, and she went back and forth, but, but seriously, still. oh my gosh, this is stunning. It is stunning. And I think it just... I think you should wear it today while you're working. Yes, I do too. I think I need I to I think the just... most hysterical thing, which they can't see, is you standing up How holding it. How big it is? It. Yes. <laughs> it is enormous. It's huge, yeah. <laughs> you know how to rub it. Yeah. <laughs> not the babushka. <laughs> no, not the babushka. Not the right <laughs> look. Babushka. No, I'm doing this. I'm not doing it justice. Okay. But don't worry, I'll be playing with it all day long. So I guess we should say goodbye then. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thanks Bye. for watching. Don't forget to subscribe yeah. if you enjoyed. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back to watch us again. Bye-bye. Bye. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, I love this you note, were fantastic. by the way. You were fantastic. Shitsing. To turn on, press red button. I guess to turn off, I press the red button again, too. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm going to just do that. Press the red button, see what happens.